Marshall, aka the Chosen One. Ooh. I don't know if that's really what his name is. Chosen AKA One, but Joel King Crow. A. King Crow is the name of the band. Archie Marshall is the lead musician on that. He is fucking dope. Sounds good. Pat's got all the hookups on music. He's always showing us some good stuff. I mean, I try. Uh, I came across him. I don't even know how or how I found him, but. He popped up in like one of some of my suggested stuff. I checked it out and I was like fucking blown away. And me, I'm kind of a music snob. I'm not easily impressed. Generally speaking, I'm not. Uh, but he blew my mind. Like he is a, his sound, uh, the way he composes his music um, is really good. The guitar, um, the bass is there. It's all has such a great classical sound. Um, his influences range from like Sam Cooke to Nat King Cole to all these other musicians that I can't even name uh, and uh, reggae and all kinds of other stuff so all the good stuff yeah. I really like that little beat switch up he had that yeah, was the jungle beats oof uh, he has it all like and I, he like brings all his elements to his music uh, and that was just one aspect of it, but he has other songs where he brings a little bit more reggae to it and a little bit more different elements. Uh, but it's really profound, and the thing is, he's only like 22 years old. No way. He dropped that when he was like 18 years old. What? What? Um, what's that song called? That song is called Rock Bottom by King Kroll. K-I-N-G-K-R-U-L-E. Check it out. I'm going to post a link in the description because... Um, like I said, I'm not easily impressed. His musicianship is on point. I, I j- like. I honestly struggle to come up with someone to compare him to in terms of musicianship. And the only other person I can think of really um, is Jack White. Nice. And Jack White is on a level. Yeah. Well, I mean, how? Like. How, how do you hate being compared to that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a pretty good comparison right in, there. In terms of musicianship, I'm not trying to compare styles mm-hmm. or, um, you know, I'm not trying to compare what their influence is compared to each other or anything like that. I'm, ta- I'm talking about pure musicianship and uh, songwritership um, as an individual. And I think that uh, he is th- the last person I was impressed as much as him was Jack White in terms of musicianship and songwriting. He was dope. So that's the first time I heard that song, and it was great. Anyways, welcome everybody to the podcast. Thanks for checking in with us. I'm Pat. I'm Ruby. We're the Millennials. Welcome to the Millennials podcast. We're back again. What you probably thought we were gone, but we ain't gone. No, we, we're not gone. We ain't go nowhere. We're I here. I mean, Ruby went to Mexico, but we ain't go nowhere. Yeah, I came back reluctantly. I got a new hairstyle. Pat did get a new hairstyle. It looks really good. His beard is it's growing right. out too, and I mean he's he's got what some swag going on. What does that mean? It doesn't look good. No, definitely not. You made it that. sound like it doesn't look good. Well, okay, guys, <laughs> his beard was getting a little crazy. Yeah. Fuck a what few she's saying. Ago. My beard looks great. Like, like it's uh, on, my beard like only looked crazy and... because my hairstyle wasn't there yet. Yeah, that's true. He my cut... beard looks exactly the same as it did then. But the difference is the hairstyle? Exactly. Really? 
Yep. I have to look at pictures. I don't know. It's it looks nice. He's wearing a bird shirt too. It's dope. Caca. 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 I like birds, y'all. Birds. That's for the birds. On his shirt. So what's up, Pat? I haven't seen Pat in a two weeks almost. I was in Mexico. How long was I in Mexico? Pat, you know my schedule. Uh, you were, <laughs> you were gone for a while. I left. I left. I was gone about a week. It was pretty dope. Saw a lot of family. I did. We did a a grandparents tour. We saw all of our grandparents. I like birds. It's a good song to play. Anyways, where are you at? Sorry. Um, I went to Chihuahua. 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 Uh, that's northern Mexico. It's right on the other side of the border of Texas. And it was pretty dope. We had a good time. Got some sun. Um, I think I've been eating Mexican food for the past two weeks straight. And I was only in Mexico for a week. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like straight. Even on my nor- normally, I have tacos probably three times a week and you know we have a ponchos nearby about two blocks from our house so no maybe like half a mile from our house so we're eating you know that's that's the only drive through really nearby um so i can't complain i had a pollo rey today too which is like uh what what would you call it like Bar- not barbecue chicken, but like wood fire chicken. Uh, what would you even call that? I don't know. It's so goddamn uh, good, though. It's delicious. We got it for lunch today. We, uh, I stopped and picked some up for me and my, my coworkers, and I mean, we di- we dug in. It was delicious. But yeah, the trip was good. I'm kind of. I mean, I'm glad to be back, but it was kind of sad. To come back and be like, oh, I got to go do stuff like an adult. (laughs) I have to be responsible and do things that I want to do. And I can't just be in the sun and eating tacos with my family all day. It's good, though. This this past couple weeks has been really formative, I think, for me. And I think for you, too. Uh, A lot of things have changed. I think more things have changed in the past two weeks than they have in probably since the beginning of the year for me. Uh, in terms of my perspective on life and just things that I, uh, in in a way, I've just I feel like I've gotten my shit together a little bit. Yeah. If not really got my shit together, I have a plan for how to get my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I can say about the same thing. Like I, I feel like this trip really put a uh, a period at the end of a sentence for me, and I came back. I'm I'm ready to ready to start writing some more stuff. I, I that's a metaphor, guys. But r- in real life, too, I'm really ready to start writing. Some shit. <laughs> I feel like I met some people uh, that have changed my life. I mean, maybe not changed my life, the course of my life, but have changed my perspective in the meantime. Uh, and yeah, I've put things, some things, into perspective, and I'm ready to move forward. I'm inspired. Yeah. And I don't believe that... Um, Them good people. I don't believe that there's really any setbacks, at least setbacks that are in my way, that can hold me back from my goals. And hopefully that's what you guys, uh, hopefully our listeners and people that check in with us can feel that way too. Um, I hope uh, everybody can understand that there are, that you can get to a point, no matter where you're at in life and no matter what goals you're facing, you can you can realize... A situation in which you can move forward and things can get better. Yeah, and you know what, guys? You you don't really know until you look back. I mean, when you're in the midst of it, it's it's really hard sometimes to find something to like grab onto when you're struggling or when you're confused or lost. Um, but looking back, you're gonna realize that you had to go through that in order to you know get things figured out and. I feel kind of the same way, Pat. Um, maybe actually, no, maybe like the opposite way. Not, oh yeah. You know, you elaborate. You're you're saying that you know you met some people, got some inspiration. I feel like I let go of some people, got some inspiration. Like, but I, ultimately, I feel like that's the same. So if we're looking at in, in terms of what's my next move, yeah, you're inspired to make that next move, and you're solidified in. 
that decision to make that next move with yes. or without those people. That's true. And so, uh, in a way, maybe the maybe those experiences that cause us to arrive at that point in time mm-hmm. are a little bit different. Maybe there's negative against positive, but yeah. uh, if what comes from there can be equally as positive. Yeah. So if that if those disconnections that you need to make yeah. or have made or however you want to say it cause you to be inspired to move forward and take your next step then ultimately that's just as good as the the positive steps yeah. the positive connections that i've made individually that uh cause me to be inspired to make my next step so we're both inspired in different in, in different roundabout ways so um dope. Yeah, and that's part of the human condition, I think. That's just, we meet people, we come across people, uh, not to be too cliche, but people, they say people are like seasons yeah. that come into your life, and some of them are not meant to stay, and you pass on to the next season. Well, J. Cole said it best, did I meet you for a reason, for a season? What up? What up, J. Cole? <laughs> um, you know, I, and it's so crazy, because now that we're on this topic, it... It's it's just so weird how we go through life and we do meet people and there are people that stick with us for a really long time. Guys, I've known Pat for a really long time. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. And, you know, there's people that we meet and we meet them for a little bit and then they leave our lives. Because they're a little bitch. Because they're a little bitch. And then we, 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 but we still get something from it. You guys should always look at the positive side of you know, the things that happen and everybody, no matter who they are, no matter how shitty they are or how great they are, whatever, they have something to teach you if you look hard enough. You know, if you try to look at the positive side of everything, you're going to find it. You know, um, if you go fishing, you're going to catch some fish. So like plenty of fish. Yeah, like plenty. What is what is that? What are you talking about? Plenty of fish is a dating I, website. I, that's the one dating website that I haven't tried. Um, Don't get on it. <laughs> Don't ever ever do it. Don't do it. I mean, I've tried Tinder, not on there. Uh, hit up Bumble. I mean, I, you know what? Don't I've ever hit up do the it. free ones. I'm not. I haven't gotten to the point where I need to pay for for the dating thing yet. But I mean, I. One day I may. I don't know. I'm what not really you, trying to shell out. No what money. were you saying? I'll probably, Sorry, I totally... I'll probably like join a club or something before I pay for dating. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about plenty of fish. <laughs> oh, if you go swimming. Oh no. Okay, so <laughs> what you you're saying? Fishing. You're saying there's a negative experience, and I want to say people have negative experiences with people, people that they meet, yes. even their loved ones, even their family members. Yeah. And that is an important thing to experience experiencing those real uh negative experiences with the people that you know uh i'm a strong advocate of recognizing those negative experiences and reacting to them hopefully in a positive manner uh i i have had this conversation i've had this conversations with my loved ones and people that i'm close to i i always feel bad when i hear people that i know or people that i care about uh explain to me scenarios in which they've done things for people good things for people people that they cared about and then those people turned around and screwed them over in some way um but i always preach that one should never ever feel bad for the good things that they have done for somebody i agree uh, I agree. And they should never if that if the the person that they've helped out or the good thing the person whom for whom they've done good things for has turned around and done something negative towards them, they should never reflect upon the good things that they did for them and regret doing that. No. You know what I agree with that and I mean there's been multiple situations in my life, in my past where and and <sighs> Some people have told me like, you're too nice. You know, you're, you're, you're so nice. You're too kind. Uh, people may take advantage of you. Like I've gotten that, but I'm not going to apologize for me being me. If, if I put love into something and I put my heart and I wanted to be kind, I'm, that was me. You know what I'm saying? If somebody wants to be shitty or not appreciative or just act 
like an asshole or whatever, that's them. And I've learned over the years, and this has taken years, guys, because it's really easy to beat yourself up and say, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done that, or I'm so stupid, or I should be, I should be, I should be an asshole. Well, this comes from, the reason that this came up is because I have, I've known, I've had conversations with people, particularly family members, and they it comes about with, it comes about as I, uh, this person has done this to me and I've done this, this, and this for that person. I should have never done that. I can't believe I did that for this person. I can't believe they did this to me. Yeah. And it's like when you start resenting the good things that you've done for people, that's when it, that's when you lose. Because yeah. then that's when you start thinking, I shouldn't do good things in the future for people. And... And that's it's, like changing yourself based on yeah. something. Like if you wanted to do that and that's the person you are, a nice, kind person, you should be, still be that person. No matter what. Yeah. You can recognize, and, it's, and I think it's not harmful to recognize that, well, it should be the case that you shouldn't expect anything in return. Yeah. You shouldn't particularly expect anything in response to your good action. That is, by definition, the nature of a good person. The person who does good things for people without anything in return. Just because you do good things for people, if you expect something in return for that good thing, that doesn't make you a good person. No, you're doing it for a reason. That right? makes you a barterer. A barterer. <laughs> if that's the word. Somebody look that up. In any event, I, I needed to producer? discuss that. I needed to get that off my chest because I don't know if – I think a lot of people get hurt. A lot of people get double-crossed. A lot of people get quote-unquote backstabbed. And if you look at it in terms of you you help somebody out, they were in a spot, they needed that help, that is you being you. Yeah, and being nice Now, nice and if kind. that person turns around and does something negative towards you, it's not double cross. It's not – uh, backstabbing. It's that person being that person. And you have to recognize that that's who they are. But that should never affect you in terms of the good action that you did towards that person. That should only affect you in terms of how you react to that person moving forward. Yeah, and what you do from that for them from then on. Because th at, that, at that point, you have an experience with them. And you know that that's who they are. And that's who you are. And maybe you don't want to be put in the situation again where you feel as if you don't. I mean, because there's a there's a breaking point. You can't continue to be nice to somebody or kind to somebody or do those things if they are acting in a way where they're, I don't know, not appreciative or being just plain cruel or mean or whatever. There is a breaking point, guys. So you Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, you have to uh, be respected. You have to want to... That's the, that's the bare that's minimum. That's what it is. It's respect. I, it's the bare it's minimum. It's not even kindness anymore. It's about respect. Like, as long as you're getting respect from somebody, um, even... You know, some people can't return it because people are fucked up, guys. Like, I hate to put it that way, but people are fucked up. Like, you don't know what people went through. You don't know how they grew up. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they have going on in their lives. So sometimes that's going to come out in the way they interact with other people. And it might not be personal. It might be them going through something and you just got in, in the middle of it, you know. But the respect thing, like, I think that's what irks me the most about any situation like this is, is, is the respect thing. And um, the the other thing is too you gotta is have like, respect for and you people. and you can help people. You can certainly help people out. Uh, you can even help people out that you know are disrespectful. But you can't then turn around and say, "I helped this person out, and they were disrespectful towards me." If you knew that they were going to be like that, yeah, you know what I mean. Like you can only be, you can only have, uh, you should only help someone out out of the goodness of your own heart you should not have a motive you should not uh use that you I should agree. not turn around and be like oh i did this for somebody and even though he or she was a dick to me and uh i did it anyways because 
uh, they needed it, and I'm just a good person. Yeah. It's like you have to do it out of the goodness of your own heart, and you can't necessarily expect anything back. Anyways, I feel like we've gone on way too long about this topic, and I just had to get that out there. I just hope people understand that you can be a good person, and you have to understand that being a good person means being a good person. It doesn't mean conditionally being a good person depending on how someone is going to respond yes. to it. It doesn't mean that just because you're a good person that someone is going to be good to you. It has to mean that... Or because you, it only benefits you. Like That's and, the only and reason. Being, well, being a good person might not always benefit you either. But you have to do it because that is who you are in your heart. Yeah. And only by doing that, the, no, matter, no matter how or what the response is from other people... That is who you are, and that's who you should live your life as. And that is the only way you're going to be happy, if that is who you are. So that's all i got to say. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, guys, just be who you are. Be Do you. If you're a kind person, be a kind person. If you're an asshole, be an asshole. I mean... Yeah, don't hide the fact that you're an asshole. That's another thing. We, that's a whole other topic. That is a whole other topic. If you're just an asshole, just be a fucking asshole. Don't hide it from people and don't let them find out about it later on. Yeah, or don't say say you're not an asshole and pretend you're not an asshole and then be a fucking asshole. Because like, it's perfectly fine. I'm totally yeah, down with be people you. being assholes. We live in America. You're free to be whoever the fuck you want. Yeah. Don't be a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's bullshit. You, if you're an asshole... Be an asshole. You will find other assholes to be to hang out with. You can <laughs> hang out in the fucking. You can find them on plenty of fish. asshole friendship circle. That's all cool. Y'all can be assholes to each other, but let it be known that you're an asshole. Don't hide the fact that you're an asshole, and let someone that's genuinely kind befriend you, and then you fuck them over. That ain't cool either. Assholes are cool. Really nice people are cool. Just don't, you know, do you. Do what you got to do. Everyone's got to do what they got to do. Just um, find a mutual level of respect for each other. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I think the most important part is just being respectful. You can be an asshole and still be sort of respectful. You can be nice and still be respectful. It's the respect thing. I don't know. I'm just going to chime on that for a second because the respect thing is just what irks me like i think that's what everybody is looking for like i don't need people to be super nice to me all the time but i do need them to be respectful like there's got to be a mutual respect as soon as you start getting disrespectful it's just oh man it, it just gets hard i don't know human interactions this is the human condition that we deal with every day ay 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, we did go on too much about this, but guys, I mean, why don't it's you guys? Real. Why that you, shit is real. That shit is real. You guys hit us up. Let us know. You know, have you guys ever felt like you've been too nice or disrespected? Or are you guys assholes? What's up? What's up to all the assholes out there? Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. Stay woke too. For the assholes, was that Kanye song? That is Kanye. song for the assholes and the douchebags you know who you are so i think it's time for us to have a toast let's have a toast for the douchebags let's have a toast for the assholes let's have a toast for the scumbags every one of them that i know let's have a toast anyways where is bond y'all it's true Guys, we have special guests. Yeah, we have some guests that just joined us on podcast. Yo, what up? You guys gotta come over here. Are you guys gonna talk? Jessica. What up? What up? Jessica's on the show. Thanks for the warm welcome. And who else? E R I K with a K. Spell it right. Yeah. (laughs) What's your Twitter handle? Give us your Twitter handle. I know how to know Twitter. Oh, you deleted your Twitter? I deleted it, too, but I got it back. Twitter's dead. Twitter's dead, dude. Dude, Twitter is dead. It's like the new MySpace. It's where I... It's like it's like shouting into the void. I still have I still have my group of Twitter friends, though. Like, people no, I went to KU with. Uh, no one's on Twitter. Dude, no, no they're Twitter. still on Twitter. They're still on Twitter. Hit us up. Are you guys on Twitter? Who's on Twitter? You know we're on Twitter, right? No one's on Twitter anymore. 
at the Rillennials on Twitter. <laughs> Anyways, we were talking about uh, before you guys walked in. We were talking about assholes. Um, assholes. We we're talking about. I, ha- I have a philosophy about just being nice to people, and oh, so I heard that. my philosophy is that if you're gonna do good things for people, you should never ever use their like you do you do something good for somebody you should never take what happens after that as an excuse to curse the good things that you've done for that person yeah. so if that person d- did you wrong after the fact you can't be like i can't i wish i never did that good thing for that person True. yeah you should you never a good act person, that yeah. way you, you should did it from a good like place in your heart exactly. and the only thing that you're cursing in that moment is yourself being a good person so, really, you can just say, like, I'm not going to do good things for that person moving forward, but you should never be like, oh, I regret doing those good things in the past. No. That's my only point. That's my philosophy in terms of uh, being a good person. Now, you can knowingly do good things for people that you know are bad people and not expect anything in return. Mm-hmm. Uh, and because that's you. You're doing you. That's just you doing you yeah. and being a good person. Um, it's only going to hurt yourself. But then we called out we called out assholes right before you guys walked in. We called out assholes and said, mm-hmm. "Well, if you're an asshole, let it be known. Yeah, don't let just people do asshole. good things for you, knowing that you're an asshole and gonna Kanye. be an asshole to them." Yeah, you're Kanye. Uh, Kanye hit us up. So hit then I pulled out that song, and that's when you guys came <laughs> and in. Elon. But anyways, that's a, that was a conversation that we were having. So uh, yeah. Anyways, what's new? What's up? Well, you know what. Jessica, the same thing is going on with Jessica. We were both in Mexico, so we were in Mexico together. High five. Woo! Ooh, we have some good conversation about that. Mexico. We talked about it. What did we say? Well, I mean, what we talked about out there. Oh, yeah, we did have a good conversation. Big things I'm coming up in 2017, to what these two have to people. i say about that. But uh, we have some good planning. Um, let's hear more about your trip. How was your trip? It was a lot of fun. It was yeah? nice to see the family. Yeah? Yeah. She showed some dope ass pictures. Mm-hmm. That looked really fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I F O E guys. F O E. What's uh what's new with you? Yeah, what's Eric? up, Eric? With the K? Eric Spill it <laughs> right. Let me explain. <laughs> Eric is wearing a tie dye shirt right now. I'm really digging yeah. it. Yeah. Guys, tie dye is in. You heard it here Good first. Yeah. <laughs> Castle oh, method. There's holes in there too. Look, I can see. Castle method. Skin. What's up? Fatima's back there too. What up? What up? Hey. What's new? You got anything you want to talk about? I don't actually. What? <laughs> what about the, we haven't? What we haven't talked about is the Kendrick album. We haven't talked about the Kendrick album. Yet. We haven't talked about the Logic yeah. album. We haven't talked yeah. about the Joy Badass album. Are you ready? Ta- are you ready to talk about it? We so haven't talked here, about. Seat. We haven't talked about any shows that are coming up. Uh, <laughs> like as you guys Speaking know. Speaking of all the shows, what? Are we going to be? You guys probably already got your tickets. Oh, the Kendrick show? Yeah. Th- no, those tickets go on sale tomorrow. Dude, tomorrow let me morning. hit up Marky Mark. How, the, what about the Kendrick album? Kendrick album. So Bro. many layers. So dope. dope. It was Ooh. so good. I feel so unprepared. It's I know. So I'm good. pretty unprepared. I'm unprepared. Too. I don't have any notes. Talk about the, <laughs> I don't have any notes. Damn. 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 <laughs> Did you guys see you that? You guys are killing me right Did, now. Did you guys see that dude that had uh, his graduation cap? Was, it was yeah. the Kendrick uh, and it said done. Yeah. He went to KU. Did you guys know that? No. Liar. At, yeah, at the very bottom right hand corner it said graduate. U- University of Kansas graduate. Shout out to you. Did it go viral? He went somewhere in Texas. Bro. I saw it on Me Too. So you went was... somewhere in Texas, dude. <laughs> it's no, pretty viral. Go look. Okay, I'm I'm gonna Google it. She's she's I'm right. She is wrong. But what do you think, Ruby? Is it wickedness or is it or what does he say? On the blood. What? Is it wickedness? Or is it something? Else? You decide. Oh fuck! I don't know. It's dope. So the album starts off with. Kendrick getting shot by a blonde, blind woman. A blind, a blonde woman. By a blonde. Woman. <laughs> yeah. She could have been blonde. He didn't explain what she looked like. Um, but no, the album was dope. Oh man, I was bumping it for two weeks, three weeks, and then the Logic well, album came out, and I was bumping that for a few days. And you know what? The, the Logic album, I loved it, but it was almost like 
It's too repetitive. I didn't like it. Dude. It was too. It was like. It was like it? super uh. conscious. Like I had to be in the mood. Like I feel like the Kendrick album was kind of like that, but it was more. I I just I don't know. What I don't know. About, I don't want to compare them. What though. was woke about Kendrick's album? What was woke? Uh, uh, let's see. What was woke? Humble. Are you see, humble feel, I feel like the feel. Track, humble itself was not woke. It was more like it was like that was a bu- that, that was, was a call to war for rap like on the on the, on the rap tip. Yeah, it had so nothing was to DNA. do with being woke. It DNA. was like yeah, it was like I'm a fucking rapper. Y'all fucking rappers suck. If you want to step to this type shit, like that was that that was what I got out of humble. It had nothing to do with being woke, socially conscious, or anything like that. So in terms of like if you're trying to compare it to Logic on that tip, I don't know if you can fairly compare it that way. And if he's trying to if he's trying to claim that his album is a quote unquote woke album, he I don't think I don't it's fair he, to call it that, that if he's gonna drop humble University as a first track. of North Texas student. Mm-mm. Look it up again. There, more than one person did it. For sure. So I don't know. That's just my that's just my perspective. I haven't heard either one of their whole albums. So I'm just going purely off of that first single. You can't talk about it. I'm just saying, if you're going to drop Humble as a first track, you can't claim to be like a humble rapper. That's all I'm saying. Like, or a woke rapper. I mean, I mean a woke rapper. I misuse the word humble. Yeah, he is. He. I feel like it's it's because he's also because he like initially is a woke rapper. Yeah, I can say that because I have a little bit of background into it. But like, if you're trying to drop humble as a track, like that's a call to arms. Well, you know why? Like, wh- that's not even like, that's not even saying like he didn't even address anything about like black culture or about like discrimination. Yes, he did. Or not in that track. I'm saying in that track. In humble, he in did. In the video, though. Yeah, he did in humble. What did he say? I don't remember him saying anything. He said he wanted to see. Well, I guess it was more like a, a woman thing. Like he he was tired of seeing women all. Photoshopped and shit. You want to so see something stri- natural like yeah. Af- or uh, yeah, you Richard right. Pryor, uh, Afro Richard Pryor. Show yeah. me something natural like Afro and stretch well, and, marks. And I really like this. You, yeah, I really like. I really like the form. He just used one word. Wicked or weakness. Have That's, you seen that mumble song? That shit is fucking dope too. Mumble. Yeah, it's a parody. Play that shit. Let's play it right now. Can we play? Are it? you still recording? Yeah, yeah. we're still recording. Oh, let me just put this out there. For but like, look at the look at the order it goes. Like blood DNA, yeah, blood. element feel loyalty. You feel pride, humble, lust, love. It goes in. It kind of goes in order. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, it kind of does go in order. But I will say See? this, and I will say this forever on this album. I. Feel is the most underrated song on this entire album. Element, Feel son. is good. It is elevated. It's element. good. Oh, element. You think element? Play That's that. Nice play that mumble track real quick, though. Is this a, is it a parody? It's kind of a parody, yeah. But it's fucking dope and it's is super it relevant. Weird Al Yankovic? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I just I I search things wrong. I just go to Google and look at. I do that there. on occasion too. Google. No, it's YouTube's now. It's it's sure relevant. Works. It's hella relevant. I remember when that one that nigga rapped the English. Now they speak in tongues in it. Just a bunch of gibberish. Turn this bullshit off, nigga. I ain't really feeling this. Man, this shit is ass. Who the hell be fucking playing? <laughs> <laughs> so just like this part. You're out there with a fucking towel on his neck. Just. Like you can't drink and shit. Speaking of rapper, rappers, let's go to Walk a Walk a Night. Walk a Fuck a Flip. I hit him up on Instagram. He Probably wrap this up. Why? Because we have guests. 
podcast here. No, that's true, guys. Oh Anyways, podcast. thank you all for tuning in to the Relinials. I'm Pat. I'm Ruby. Be sure to check us out on all of our social media. We're no longer on Twitter because Twitter's fucking dead. <laughs> so Twitter. Don't even fucking try on Twitter no more. <laughs> Hit us up. You can, send a, you can still send us an email at Gmail. The millennials at gmail.com. Yeah. Hit us up on our Facebook page. We're right there. Uh, yeah, and hit actually, us up on SoundCloud. We are on SoundCloud. We're on YouTube too. Actually, and we just got an Instagram, so oh, we're going to be posting some content on <laughs> there. Uh, uh, look, look for us, guys. It, you know what? What do you think about Instagram? Instagram is killing it right now yeah let's do killing it, it right thanks now. to jessica and eric and fatima for sitting in on the session um plenty more to come thanks for tuning in we'll hit you guys next time oh yeah and don't forget uh hit us up with questions comments concerns oh remember we're giving out advice too we're doing an advice session so we're doing an advice se- session relationships uh work career uh, anything like that, hit us up, let us know. We'll give you the right advice, get you on the right track, and let you know what's up. Yeah, we're not liable for anything. And yeah, we're not uh, or doctors or lawyers or anything like that. All right, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. Peace. <laughs>